Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to do a vase on my rotator. I do need to get some sort of a skinnier foam thing because this didn't fit on very well. But I feel fairly certain that it is secure. I guess we could find out the hard way. Um, and I do have a canvas underneath here. So I've never done a vase like this before. I've only ever poured from the bottom and had the vase upside down. This is gonna be really exciting. I have some leftover paint I'm using, and this is going to be mostly blues. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill up enough paint in here to cover this canvas and the vase. I'm using, um, this is Folk Art Gold, and then I've got a bunch of the Arteza iridescent colors and some Arteza Thalo Blue, which will kind of be our dark color for this. I think I'm gonna throw a little bit of, this is an Artist Loft Green. There we go. This will be a relatively sparkly painting. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and then start pouring and I'm going to try to pour slow enough to get the vase fully covered. The rim might be a little difficult. And of course we have the, the canvas underneath catching the runoff. I'm just trying to pour slow enough so that I don't have to refill the cup or anything to get the vase fully covered. I'm very excited about these colors. And I guess if I miss any spots, I'll just go ahead and get them with my fingers after. All right. Almost done. Actually, it wasn't as difficult to get coverage as I thought. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of freaking out because it seems like the vase might be sort of slipping a little bit. I really hope it stays on there. Or maybe I just put it on at an angle. That's possible too. All right, good to know. It is definitely moving. So I'm gonna turn this off and sucks because my hands are gonna move, but I'll shove it on a little bit more. Okay, now the rotation will fix the finger marks I just got on there. I am gonna move the canvas from under here because it's just, the vase is too wide. So it's touching the canvas. Though I could probably lift this up a little bit. <laughs> this is all an experiment. All right, I am going to hold this for a little bit up just until it slows down on the dripping, and then we'll come back and do the canvas. All right, that's slowed down on dripping, so I'm going to go ahead and do the canvas. And then it's pretty warm in here, so that vase should be dry fairly soon. I did put a lot of gold in here, which I'm pretty excited about. This is the um, Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. And it is, I think I can probably safely say my favorite gold. It is very sparkly. It does tend to cause cells, depending on what technique you're doing. So you kind of got to watch out for that if you don't want cells. But I think for this, it's going to be awesome. All right, let's go ahead and let everything sit for a couple hours. By then, the vase should be mostly dry. And we'll do our close-up. Okay, we're back. It's been a few hours. So this is looking awesome. And it's not moving anymore, so it's going to just keep turning like this until it is dry. 
Um, I'm really happy with all that gold in there. I think it looks pretty awesome. You can see we have this rotating drip on the bottom, which will keep going. But anyways, so that's how the vase looks. I think it looks awesome. And let's do a quick close up on the painting. So also pretty awesome. Like the pink in there with the gold and the blue. Um, so just to quickly answer some common questions, um, this I will leave rotating on here until the paint is dry to the touch, which will be probably just a few more hours. And then I'll just have it set upside down and dry for probably about a week, maybe two, and then I will coat it with resin. And I coat all my vases with resin because it makes them really durable. My canvases, I generally will spray with Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray. And I usually let those dry a little bit longer because that's going to have a thicker coat of paint on there so it'll take a bit longer for the paint to actually cure the paint on the vase is really thin so it will cure a lot faster so there you guys go I love this uh, vase on a rotator for the next one I'm going to work out a thinner piece of foam here so it fits on there better and I don't have to worry about it falling off but for now I made it work Hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all next time.